In this episode of Tech Tips, we'll look at the system scan function on the H30 series meters. The system scan will automatically scan the currently selected channel plan in order to provide a snapshot of all the important measurements for each channel, as well as provide a quick visual on the status of your plant. I'll pause the video to point out the key features on this screen. The main graph shows the power level of the digital channels with a solid green, yellow, or red bar, and for analog, the power of both the video and audio carriers with the same green, yellow, or red for the video, and a stacked white bar for the audio. The green, yellow, or red color is determined by the quality profile selected. The currently selected channel is indicated with a gray bar, and the channel being scanned is indicated with a blue bar. In the top left is the channel and frequency. To the right of that are the key measurements on that channel. In the bottom left is the selected channel of the current number of channels in the plan. To the right of that is the reference level for the power. And on the top center of the screen is the selected channel plan, and moving to the right is the quality profile, time of day, and battery status. Now I'll resume the video at a faster than normal speed to the end of the first pass of the scan. Once the first pass of the scan is done, you can see that the blue bar for the currently scanning channel starts over again, and the cycle will continue until you leave this screen. In this scan, the digital tuning feature is enabled, and by pressing OK, it changes the video and audio power to the video to audio power ratio and carrier to noise ratio on an analog channel. Now on a digital channel, the measurements show the power and carrier to noise ratio. When OK is pressed, the modulation error ratio as well as the pre and post FEC bit error rates are displayed. Pressing OK again just toggles back and forth. Now let's take a look at the setup options. First is the digital tuning I mentioned. You can turn it off or on. If it's off, you don't get the second set of measurements with the extra detail, but the scan goes faster, so user's choice. Next is the power reference level. You can manually set the level or let the meter select the best option on its own. Then you can select the span for the graph. You can pick from one of these four to give a fixed number of channels or the entire plan at one time. This is what a 31 channel span looks like as an example. Next you can select the channel plan. You can pick from the factory supplied defaults or one of your own custom plans as we already have here. Lastly, you can save a data log. Press back if you changed your mind or set up to change the name. The name is changed with a spin of the thumb wheel one character at a time. When done, you just press OK to save the log. There is also a shortcut to saving a log. When on the scan screen, just press OK and the same data log screen will appear. We hope you enjoy this entire set of tech tips on the H30 series of meters.